Do you have a refrigerator in your home? And what do you refrigerate? Fruits, vegetables and other edible stuff? Now imagine a world where people are being frozen with the hope of being brought back to life in the future. Sounds like science fiction, huh? This is no fiction, but a new reality of our times. With the help of technology, human bodies are being frozen with the hope of revival and being brought back to life in the future. Now frozen means what? And who can be frozen? When we say frozen, we are talking about people who have been legally declared dead. But how can someone who's dead be brought back to life? That's where cryonics comes in. A technique that stores human bodies at very low temperatures and keeps the possibility alive of their revival someday. The idea is to free someone who has died from a disease that's currently incurable and then thaw them when a cure is found. This is called chronic suspension. It is illegal to perform chronic suspension on someone who is still alive. So how does chronics actually work? First, the water in the body cells is replaced with a special solution called a cryoprotectant. It's like an antifreeze for humans. This helps in protecting the organs and tissues from forming ice crystals at extremely low temperatures. This process is called vitrification. Once the water is replaced with the cryoprotectant, the body is cooled down to minus 202 degrees Fahrenheit on a bed of dry ice. Then the body is placed in a special container that's put into a large tank filled with liquid nitrogen which is around minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit. To be extra safe, the body is stored head down. So if the tank ever leaks, the brain will stay frozen in the liquid. Now who are the players in this space? There are several companies that offer full cryo suspension services. The major players include Alcor Life Extension Foundation and the Cryonix Institute in the US. In May 2024, Australian company Southern Cryonix successfully froze its first client, marking the first known cryogenic preservation in the Southern Hemisphere. And how much does it cost? If we talk about Alka, it charges $220,000 for whole body cryo preservation. Now, if you only want to preserve your brain, it costs you $80,000. The first person to be cryogenically frozen was a 73-year-old psychologist, Dr. James Bedford, in 1967. Since then, around 5,500 people have signed up for cryopreservation, with 500 bodies already in storage, mostly in the United States. Probably the most famous of them is baseball legend Ted Williams. Following his passing in 2002, William's body has been preserved in a 10 feet tall stainless steel container at the Alcor Life Extension Foundation in Arizona. The idea of potentially achieving immortality through cryonics has proven specially appealing to high net worth individuals. Recently, PayPal co-founder Peter Till has joined the list of those who have chosen this option. Other notable figures who have also opted for Cryonix include reality TV personality Paris Hilton, American DJ Steve Aoki, actor Seth MacFarlane and author Ray Kurzweil. But is there a guarantee of revival? While Cryonix offers hope for revival, there is no guarantee it will be possible. Currently, medical science lacks the technology to reverse the preservation process or repair cellular damage caused by cryopreservation. Critics argue that Cryonix provides false hope, but its supporters believe future advancements in nanotechnology and regenerative medicine could make revival possible. Cryonix pushes the boundaries of medical science, challenging our understanding of life and death. As technology advances, what seems impossible today may become achievable in the future. 
potentially offering a second chance at life. Who knows, the day of immortality may not be far away. That's all in this edition of Connecting the Dots. We'll see you next week with more raging issues. Until then, it's a goodbye from all of us in the Delhi newsroom. This is Munman Bhattacharya signing off. Take care and stay safe.